free UWorld questions. Hi guys, this is RN Daily Dose, formerly as Indai RN, and here I am to give you some helpful tips to maximize your study for the exam. And before we're going to start, please don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe on my channel, especially if you are new. Free UWorld Questions the male client had a hemicolectomy. The client is refusing to wear the prescribed sequential compression devices SCDS. What is most important for the nurse to communicate to the client? 1. An appropriate form must be signed, verifying refusal. 2. Complications, including death, could result. 3. The client will be billed for the equipment regardless. 4. The surgeon will be informed of the refusal. The male client had a hemicolectomy. The client is refusing to wear the prescribed sequential compression devices SCDS. What is most important for the nurse to communicate to the client? Answer. 2. Complications, including death, could result. Explanation. Just as there is informed consent, there is informed refusal. The client should be made aware of all the possible complications including the possible worst case scenario which is usually death when making a decision. And this should be documented. The nurse should try to work with the client to get at least partial compliance when it is in the client's best interest A. Wear the SCDS for a limited time. Option 1 This would occur, but it is more important to make the client aware of the potential implications of this refusal so that the client can make an informed refusal. Option 3 Safe. Quality care is the priority not financial concerns. The nurse should avoid discussing financial implications when a client is making care decisions. Option 4 Depending on the hospital policy, a refusal to wear the SCDS could result in an additional form being completed and the refusal documented in the medical record. Documentation should include the information given to the client and the client's understanding of that information. Even if the client refuses to sign the form, the nurse should obtain other witnesses and document the refusal in detail in the medical record. Educational objective The most important aspect of a client's refusal for treatment is to make sure that the client is informed of the potential results of the refusal. The nurse is caring for a client who develops Clostridium difficile colitis after multiple days of antibiotic therapy. Which infection control measures are appropriate to implement? Select all that apply. 1. Disinfect surfaces with diluted bleach solution. 2. Hand hygiene with alcohol-based hand rub. 3. Wear a face mask. 4. Wear a protective gown. 5. Wear non-sterile gloves. The nurse is caring for a client who develops Clostridium difficile colitis after multiple days of antibiotic therapy. Which infection control measures are appropriate to implement? Select all that apply. Answer. 1. Disinfect surfaces with diluted bleach solution. 4. Wear a protective gown. 5. Wear non-sterile gloves. Explanation. C. difficile poses a unique hazard in healthcare settings. This infection of the colon may develop or spread through contact with the organism or after prolonged antibiotic therapy alters normal bowel flora, allowing for C. difficile overgrowth. Clients with C. difficile infection should be placed on strict contact precautions in private rooms. These precautions require staff to wear protective gowns and gloves when entering the client's room options 4 and 5. Hand hygiene using soap and water is the only effective method for removing C. difficile spores option 2. In addition, alcohol is not an effective agent for killing C. difficile spores. Therefore, a diluted bleach solution must be used to disinfect contaminated equipment and surfaces option 1. Option 3 Contact precautions require the caregiver to wear a gown and gloves. A face mask must be worn as personal protective equipment if an organism is spread via droplets. 
However, it is not required to prevent the spread of a contact transmissible infection. The nurse should not wear a mask solely to avoid the unpleasant odor associated with C. difficile diarrhea as this may be offensive and embarrassing to the client. Educational Objective C. difficile infection requires strict contact precautions, including wearing a gown and gloves at all times. Alcohol cannot kill C. difficile spores, so caregivers must use soap and water in place of alcohol-based hand sanitizers. Contaminated surfaces and equipment should be disinfected using a diluted bleach solution. The nurse in the intensive care unit ICU is giving unlicensed assistive personnel up directions for bathing a client who has a surgical incision infected with methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus MRSA. Which instructions would be most effective for reducing infection? 1. Assist the client to the shower and provide directions to use antibacterial soap. 2. Delay the bath until the client has received antibiotic therapy for 24 hours. 3. Use a bath basin with warm water and a new washcloth for each body area. 4. Use packaged pre-moistened cloths containing chlorhexidine to bathe the client. The nurse in the intensive care unit ICU is giving unlicensed assistive personnel up directions for bathing a client who has a surgical incision infected with methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus MRSA. Which instructions would be most effective for reducing infection? Answers. 4. Use packaged pre-moistened cloths containing chlorhexidine to bathe the client. Explanation. Current evidence supports the recommendation for clients with MRSA or other drug-resistant organisms to be bathed with pre-moistened cloths or warm water containing chlorhexidine solution. Bathing clients in this way can significantly reduce MRSA infection. Option 1 This action may be appropriate for a client in the home setting. However, most clients in the ICU are unable to go to the shower or have monitoring equipment and or or invasive lines that would make bathing difficult. Chlorhexidine is recommended in the hospital setting. Option 2 It is not appropriate to delay bathing as the client's skin and incision need to be cleaned. Delay should only occur if the client is unstable. Option 3 This option would be appropriate if the bath water contained a solution of chlorhexidine. Educational Objective Pre-moistened cloths or warm water with a chlorhexidine solution should be used when bathing clients infected with MRSA or other drug-resistant organisms. 